Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky, and today we're doing a duping the vibes of the Glaminatrix U Beauty palette. I have previously done a duping video on the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette. I'll link that video down below, and y'all seem to really enjoy it. So I figured I would do one with the U Beauty as well, since this is a highly coveted palette in our indie space at the moment. This is what the palette looks like. There's a mix of duochromes, multi-chromes, shimmers, and mattes. Now, this palette is quite pricey. I believe it retails for around 50 pounds, and shipping from Australia does cost a lot of money, so I figured this video should be helpful to y'all if you just wanted a couple of the shades or you wanted to see what you have similar in your collection. I'm gonna be honest, this palette was quite difficult for me to dupe because this does stand alone as a very unique palette to my collection. However, I do think that I have a few similarities for you guys. Now, because I don't have the most extensive single shadow collection, most of the dupes that I found are in palette form, so I'm really sorry about that. We're gonna go row by row, so let's start with the first shade. The first shade in the palette is called Australia, and this is a light blue duochrome. It's got a sheer light blue base with a turquoise flip to it. It's also got a bit of gold in there. It's a very beautiful shadow. And a shade similar that I found is within the the Kaleidos Futurism 5 Electro Turquoise palette and it's this shade right here called Tron. Tron is one of my favorite metallics in my collection. It's so wet looking and beautiful. So right here, that is Tron right there. Tron is a little bit more turquoise, less of a sky blue, but it's the closest that I have found within my collection. I'm just going to go over that a little bit more just to make the swatch a bit more even. So Australia is on the top and Tron is on the bottom. Me personally, I prefer Tron. It's a bit more pigmented and a bit more shiny, but they are close enough. That's why I called this video duping the vibes instead of duping because a lot of these shadows that I have I don't really have exact dupes of. Like this next shade, Bloody Oath. Bloody Oath is a eucalyptus matte colour. Bloody Oath is probably the most unique shadow in my collection because this is a eucalyptus colour. It's like a greyish turquoise and even though you would think that this is a very easy colour to find but I had swatched basically every light turquoise in my collection, every grey, every turquoise, even light sage greens, I don't have anything like this colour. <laughs> However, I have found that this shade right here from the Electro Turquoise palette, I don't know the name of it unfortunately. I think this shade might be called Force Field, but that's it right there. As you can see, it's a lot more like blue not as grey. So these two aren't quite dupes at all. I feel like if you blended them out they could look similar but not quite the same. The next shade in You Beauty is one of my favourites. This is Chockers. It's a fantastic metallic lavender. That is Chockers right there. It's so high shine. I love the silver sparkle in it. I love the light lavender base. It's fantastic. And this was one of the easier shades to find a similar colour of, and I found that in the Kaleidos Club Nebula palette in the shade You're My Only Hope. This is an icy lavender metallic, and I feel like this is pretty similar. Not quite the same, but pretty damn similar. Chockers has more of a base colour to it, whereas You're My Only Hope is a bit more icy and iridescent. The final shade in the first row is Stitch Up, and this is a warm chocolate brown. I don't... If we look at it right here, it clearly does have a red undertone, but I feel like this leans a bit more neutral as well. It's a very interesting tone of brown, and shockingly, this one was also very hard to dupe. I, I don't know why, the undertone is very interesting. Every brown that I swatched leaned a bit too orange or a bit too cool toned, none quite as red. But even when I tried to swatch my like reddish toned browns, they were almost too red. Like this specific tone was quite difficult to find. The closest shade that I could find is the shade called Crater Crow from the Kaleidos Luna Lavender palette. This is a bit more cool toned, but I feel like this is the closest that I could find. That is Crater Crove right there. The depth is very similar. Crater Crove is slightly more purple toned rather than red toned. I never thought that a neutral brown shade would be very hard to dupe, but that is the closest that I could get. And I feel like it's fairly spot on. And that is the first row right there. Please excuse the little sparkle left over on my hands. I can't get rid of it, it's just gonna linger. But anyways, we're moving on to the second row. This shade is Fair Dinkum. This is a deep, deep blue. This is essentially a navy blue, but with a bit of turquoise in it. It's very lovely. And as usual, I swatched all of my navy blues, but a lot of them were far too dark. Like for an example, in the Club Nebula palette, 
there is a navy called Void right here. However, this shade, oh, now they look similar on camera, but when I swatch this one, Void is a lot more blue and a lot deeper. Like, it's... It's similar, but like Void is just so deep, it's mad. And since Void is slightly too blue toned, I decided to go for this shade from the uh, Electro Turquoise palette. Again, not too sure the name of it because I don't have the plastics sheet with this one. And the reason why I went for this one is because Fair Dinkum does have a bit of a turquoise tone to it. So that is the shade from Electro Turquoise. For the hell of it, I'm just gonna layer a little bit of Void on top of that shade to mix them together. Oh yeah, mixing them together you get that shade. Because that void shade takes a little bit of the green out of the initial turquoise shade and adds a little bit of blue. Fair Dinkum is definitely a mix of those two blues. I feel like that is pretty spot on. So if you own both of those palettes then you own this shade. The next shade we are duping is the first multi-chrome in the palette and this is Old Mate. This is a absolutely beautiful antique bronze with a gold and a blue sheen to it. And that is it right there. And it's got a warm toned base to it. It is one of the most beautiful, I'm trying to move my hand into the light so you can see. It's one of the most beautiful shades ever. And this shade was probably the easiest shade to dupe in this palette. And I have the single from Enchanted Luster Cosmetics called Chrono Prism. This is an exact dupe. The shift is essentially the same. The sparkle level is very similar and they are both multi-chromes as we can see right there. Don't know if you're going to be able to see the blue shift super well, but there you go. I am very pleased with this dupe. However, if you own Corrosion from Cleona, that is also a dupe of this shade. I've seen a lot of people do swatch comparisons of Corrosion and Old Mate, and those two are the exact same as well. But I don't own Corrosion, but I do own Chrono Prism from Enchanted Luster. And it's a beautiful shade, isn't it? So stunning. The next shade in this row is She'll Be Right, and this is a cool toned mauve matte. This one pissed me off a lot. The reason why is because it doesn't really look like much, like a greyish mauve taupey colour. But let me tell you, I swatched all of the cool tone, like, taupey shades in my collection, and I'll put a picture right here. None of them looked right. They were all either too warm toned, didn't have enough grey, I even swatched a grey in my collection next to everything, and the grey was too grey, not enough like taupiness to it. However, the shade that I ended up choosing was this shade from the Luna Lavender palette by Kaleidos, and this shade is called Nocturnal. This shade is slightly too pink and slightly too brown, but honestly, I was going mad trying to find a dupe of She'll Be Right, like, it is... It was difficult. And that right there is Nocturnal from the Luna Lavender palette by Kaleidos. As you can see, it's not really a dupe in the slightest. It's too pink, it's not grey enough, not light enough, but I feel like many people would prefer this shade over this one because whenever I blend She'll Be Right into my crease, it does darken up on the lids and it does look quite nice. However, I know that this shade is not a very universal shade for a lot of people. But yeah, She'll Be Right isn't really a standout in the palette. It's a very good matte, but it's not like a standout shade, despite it being very unique. The next shade in the palette is one of my favourites, and this is Budgie Smugglers. This is a brick red. And again, with this shade, I swatched all of the reds in my collection, and all of them were too fire engine red or too orange toned, not really brick enough. I mean, on camera, Budgie Smugglers looks really like fire engine red, even though it's not. In person, it is a lot more brick toned. And the closest dupe I could find was within my Natasha Denona Love palette, and it's this shade right here called Heart. Heart is a little bit more pink toned, but it is the closest that I could find since it does have a little bit of like a brickness to it and I'll actually extend my swatch of budgie smugglers a little bit just so it matches but as you can see they are pretty damn close and that right there is row number two I swear, every time I film swatching videos, my leggings are just covered in sparkles and finally we're moving on into the last row in the palette, the more yellowy sunshine side of it. And the first shade that we have to mention is the shade called Whoop Whoop. This is a light pale yellow with a blue and a bit of a pink sheen to it. That's what it looks like right there. Now this colour is very, very, very pale. And again, all of my yellows that I swatched were not quite right. I do have a couple of shades to mention though. The first shade is actually from Glaminatrix and this is the shade Chick. The formula is pretty much the same, a little bit crumbly, but it is more of a true yellow rather than like a 
light icy yellow, but color wise this is the closest that I could get. Now the other shade I have to mention is Sunbeam by Cleona. Now this shadow does have a pink base, but it does shift like blue and yellow. Sunbeam is at the very top right there, and I feel like it is very similar to Whoop Whoop. It does have the same sheens to it, but it's a little bit more iridescent, and since it does have the pink base, you can see that more, but this is definitely more shifty. If you want something more of like a true light yellow metallic, go for Chick. But I feel like if you mixed Chick and Sunbeam together, you could probably get a similar dupe. That's them mixed together, and I think that's definitely more close. The final matte that we have to swatch is the shade called Struth, and this is a light yellow, almost mustard matte. That's Struth right there. I absolutely love this shade. It's one of my favourite tones of yellows to wear. And the closest shade dupe I found was within my September Rose Brew palette, and it's this shade right here called Pumpkin Spice, which is actually my favourite shade in this palette. It's a beautiful matte shade, and that is basically dead on exact. I feel like Pumpkin Spice is a little bit more orange than yellow, but... I mean, they're pretty similar. The penultimate shade in this palette is Flaming Galar, and this is... Oh, I absolutely love this shade. It's a beautiful iridescent multi-chrome. The predominant shift is like a red, but then it also shifts green and yellow and orange. It's such a beautiful shade. Now my mind immediately goes to the Terra Moon's Iridescent Multichromes, however I couldn't find a shade from them that shifts both red but also green and yellow. I initially thought Light Year, but the predominant shift in Light Year, like the one that you see first, like here, that shift is like a bright green, and it didn't really have the red shade in it, so I thought I would go with the primary shift, because the primary shift is the one that you see most on your eyes until you turn your head. So instead I chose the Terra Moon's Iridescent Chameleon in Red Giant. I'm actually wearing this shade on my inner corners today, it's such a beautiful shade. Now this shade strictly just shifts like red pink, so I feel like the predominant shift, as you can see right there, is similar. But like, when I turn my wrist- actually no, you can see the yellowy orange in there. There just isn't a green shift in there. Beautiful nonetheless, and the closest that I have found. I feel like Terra Moons does have a shadow that is an exact dupe of this. I can't remember the name of it, but I have seen people mention that that shade is a dupe. However, I don't own that shade. And the final shade in the palette, this is probably the most unique shade in this entire palette, and this is Gide. This is a fantastic multi-chrome that shifts from- it's got a very interesting base colour. It's got like this light greyish base colour, but it shifts orange to gold to green. It is absolutely breathtaking. Now the dupe that I have of this shade isn't quite the same. This is the Terra Moon's Iridescent Chameleon in Phoenix. Now since this is an iridescent, it doesn't have the same base colour, but the shifts are quite comparable. I have heard that Cleona does offer a dupe of this shade, however I can't think of the name off the top of my head, but this right here is Terra Moon's Phoenix. God, I took so much on there, a little chunk just flaked off. My bad. I forget how little you need of the Terra Moon's shadows. I always accidentally pick up too much. But that right there is Phoenix. You can see that the shift is the same, just the base colour is not. And that is the final row in the palette. But yeah, with all of that said and done, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know if you own You Beauty, and if you have any dupes that you'd like to share in the comments down below. Let's help each other out. If you are curious to hear my thoughts on this palette, since this video isn't like a solid review of this, I will link my videos that I used You Beauty down below. But this is one of my favourite palettes in my collection. It's absolutely stunning. The formula is just there. However, I do understand that this is an expensive boy. Like, this is expensive, and I did receive this in PR, so. But even if I didn't get this in PR, I would have bought it in a heartbeat because it's Australian themed and that just speaks to my heart so much. But I hope this video was helpful to you if you wanted to find some dupes to you beauty or something similar. If you would like to see more makeup content from me then follow me on my Instagram, it's beauty by sky right here. I post all of my looks there and I'm active on there every single day. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe if you haven't already, I would love to have you here. And as always, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!